In this video, I'm going to use StatCrunch to create a bar graph, a bar graph, a Pareto chart, and a pie chart using this data set. Yeah, this is a bag of M&Ms. There's 45 M&Ms listed here. And if we build a frequency table out of this, here's the frequencies and here's the relative frequencies for those. And we're going to go put that data into StatCrunch. So we'll come to My Labs Plus. Log in, click on StatCrunch, click visit the StatCrunch website. That opens the StatCrunch website, and then I click open StatCrunch, and that'll open a new StatCrunch window. And so I can enter my data here. In StatCrunch, I can either enter the raw data, list all of them down. So here I've entered all the data, all 45 values. So since I have raw data here, I'm going to go up to graph and choose bar plot. And I'm going to do it with, with data, with the raw data. If I already have a frequency table, I can do it with summary. And we'll do that in a second. So I'm going to do it with data. So I'm going to select variable 1. That's where my data is coming from and I'm just going to hit compute for right now. So that builds my my bar graph and if I don't like this order, so right now it's putting it in, in uh, ascending order for the names, so blue, brown, green, these are in alphabetical orders for the names. So if I want to change that, I'll go to options and then edit and there it's doing it order by value ascending uh, value ascending is uh, alphabetical order ascending. I'm going to do it by worksheet and I'll hit compute and that's going to put it in order. This is the order of the graph I already have built. So I built this in a in a different program. So here's what it looks like and in StatCrunch it looks the same way. And if I want to, now if I want to build a Pareto chart, Pareto chart again puts uh, the bars in order from uh, the most count, the highest frequency, down to the lowest frequency. So it's already almost a Pareto chart, except it's basically going to switch, swap blue and green. So I come back to options, edit, and then I'm going to say order by count descending. So count descending will go from the highest count down to the lowest, and that'll create a Pareto chart. So when I clicked on this, I uh, accidentally, or when I made this, I accidentally clicked on the orange bar. And notice it highlighted it, and then over in the data itself, it highlighted all the places where I've got orange. So I can see those right away. If I want to get rid of that, I can either click individual ones off, or if I click row up here, it'll turn all of them off. So I can turn any one of these on if I want to, or then turn them off so I can see where the data is coming from. So that's a Pareto chart. And now we're going to build a pie graph, or a pie chart. So I'm going to close this. I'll come back up to graph, and I want to build a pie chart. And again, I'm using it from the raw data. So I'm going to pick variable number one. And by default, it's going to show me just the percents. And it's going to do this value ascending. So we'll just do it by default. So again, it's doing it from uh, alphabetical order, blue, brown, green, orange, red, yellow. And it doesn't actually match the, the colors, which is a little bit confusing. But uh, you can see here it's got the number, the count. There's three blue M&Ms, 12 brown, and it also shows the percents. If I just want to show the percents, I'll come back to Options and click Edit. And down here, I'll just click Percent. And let's do this for Count Descending. And so now it's going from the highest to the lowest. There's the, the most frequent color is brown, then yellow, red, orange, green, and blue, and it shows the percentages on the side. So we could use this to build a, a relative frequency table. And if I want to just show the counts, I can change and show counts instead. And here it'll show the counts, 12 brown, 10 yellow. Same thing that I saw in my 
uh, the bar chart that I created. If I want to save the pie chart, uh, I can come here and I'm actually going to copy it. Uh, so I can copy it and copy it says, okay, I have two options here. I can either right click the image and then say copy image or I can say save image as. So if I hit copy image, then I can open a Word document and I come into my Word document and I can just hit Control V to paste it in. And it looks like in Word to paste it in, what I have to do is come up here. I can't just do a Control V. I have to click on where it says Paste and do Paste Special. And I'll paste it in as a bitmap. So there, I put my, my pie chart in here. The other option I have, if we go back to StatCrunch, is I can save this off as a file. So you have two options. If you clicked uh, copy, you can right click on here and say save image as. So I'll click here save image as. And then I can change the name if I want to. It's going to save it as a PNG, a portable net network graphics file. That's just a type of uh, image file. And I'll call this pie chart. And that'll save it. And so I can open it up later if I want to. So it saved it down here. And I'm using Chrome. So if I click open, it's just going to open it right on the screen. But if I find this, then I can upload this uh, somewhere, or I can paste it in somewhere, or I can email it, or anything I want to do. Uh, the other way is, I'll close this, if I go to Options, Download, I can download it. So give it a name, I'll keep the .png, I'll say pie chart, and I tell it where I want to save it. So here, I'm just going to save another one. And that's the other way to save it. So your two options to save it are either to say options, copy, and then right click and you can say save image as, or you can copy the image. Or you can go and download it, give it a name and download it somewhere to your computer. I can do the same thing with the bar chart. So I'm going to graph my bar chart my bar plot again. I'm doing it with data again. I'll select this. I'm going to do this with worksheet. Here's the frequency. I can also do a relative frequency. So let's do the frequency one. And I can save that or download that. So let's download this. This is my bar graph. I'll save that one. can open that and look at it. I can do my Pareto chart, so I'll hit Options, Edit, come down here, say Count Descending, and we've made a Pareto chart, so do Options, <coughs> Download, Pareto chart, Save that. And let's do also do a, a relative frequency bar graph. So here I'll come back to edit. And now I'm going to change this. I'll change this order by back to worksheet. Change here under type. Instead of frequency, I'll pick relative frequency. And now when I hit compute, it's going to do a, a relative frequency bar graph. Still has all the same names for the M&Ms, but now it's relative frequencies on the side. So I'll save that one. I'll download this, and I'll call this a relative frequency bar graph. And I'll save that.
looks like I accidentally highlighted this again, so I'm going to turn that off and I'll save it again. Download. I'm actually just going to, oh, I guess it worked just fine. I'll replace that. All right, so that was a, uh, a bar graph, a relative frequency bar graph, a Pareto chart, and a, uh, and a pie graph that we could create using the raw data. Now I'm going to do it with, uh, with a frequency table already, so let me change this back. I'll get the frequencies off of this. So there's the frequency, so let me enter these. I'll use uh, variable two here. So here's brown. These are my categories. Brown, yellow, red, orange, blue, and green. And I'm going to put my frequencies over here. So brown has 12, yellow has 10, red has 9, orange has 6, blue has 3, and green has five. So I'll close this. And I'll go back to graph. And I'm going to do a bar plot again, but instead of with data, I'm going to do it with summary. That's I already have a frequency table there. So my categories are in variable two right here. And my counts are in variable three here. So the counts are in variable three. Can't really see them right now. I'm going to do it with frequency. I can do a relative frequency one as well. And I can order it by uh, what it's what it is on the worksheet. So on the worksheet, it's um, brown. I want to do it in the same order that I've listed them. So that's the order on the worksheet. There's a bunch of other options here. I can change the title. I can change the axes labels. So if I want to do the x-axis, I can type color here for the categories on the y-axis on the side. I'll say frequency. And under title, I'll say bar graph for M and M color. And I've got horizontal lines, but I'm going to leave off the vertical lines. And then I'll hit compute. And that builds my bar graph here. Looks the same way as the other one we had. Now I've put in where it says frequency, and it says color down here, and it says it gives a, a title bar graph for M&M &M color. And I can grade it, uh, I can download it the exact same way. This time we'll call this uh, frequency bar graph, because we already did a relative frequency one. I'll save that one. And we can do the same thing with a pie chart. So close that, come back to graph, do a pie chart, and do the pie chart with a summary of the data. Categories again were in var variable two. The counts were in variable three. I just want to do the percents. I'm going to order them by what it is on the worksheet again, so brown on down and I'll say put in the same uh, put the ti same title we had before so bar or now this is pie chart for M&M &M color So here we did a pie chart with all the colors. And you can play around th with this um, to get the colors to come out correctly. Like if I wanted to change this around, I could make the red come out first, yellow, orange. I could Well, blue and green looks like they're correct in the order they're in, but I could change around on my table so everything looks correct. And so there's my pie chart with a, a label on it or a title on it, and I got percents. All right, and you can do the same thing with a Pareto chart.